The objection. Linda Goon, you you mentioned like you came up super religious in your house. Was uh, yes, yeah. uh I went to a religious school. Was what was the kind of flavor of it? Like really intense, like Catholic or more like Presbyterian? Like the like uh, were, they had like chapels for you, I'm sure, and you had to take religious classes. <laughs> The, uh, so actually, there were. Uh, uh, it's Baptist for one. Okay. I, I was raised Baptist, but not like Westboro Baptist breed. More like <laughs> uh, big conferences and youth groups. You know, kind sure. of Baptist thing. I will say, Kyle mentioned snakes. Uh, one of the few official snake handling churches is about twenty minutes from my home, and I do know people who go there. It's the one. If you kept up with it a couple of years ago, the pastor died because he yeah. was bit to death by snakes during a service mm -hmm. um i am pretty close to one of those so that is a thing around here <laughs> what a um, it would have been it would have been but, funny if you just said car accident and just moved along <laughs> 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 I'm moving. The, the pastor of that snake handling thing died as soon spider as you bite said, yeah. as as said, <laughs> was, all you had to say was it was the one that and i was like I bet it was the one where someone died because they get bit by a goddamn fucking poisonous snake because they wave oh. them around there that's probably what happened. Those yeah. people deserve it. I love when it happens. They should be refused treatment. <laughs> so um, it's interesting. I did like a, uh, it was for my occult video I did a while back. I looked into like how that started and everything. And it actually didn't uh, begin until the 50s. And there was this one evangelist that went around and he was specifically quoting in uh, the New Testament whenever Jesus is talking to the disciples and he tells them, if you do work in my name, uh, no harm will ever befall you. And he says, you will walk through fire and not be burnt, blah, blah, blah. You will pick up serpents, serpents and not be bit. Not be bit yeah, yet. you'll pick up. And the what Jesus was saying there is like, if you're doing my will, then you're going to be protected. Don't worry about that. He was not saying that, yeah, well, if you believe in God, just like grab a bunch of snakes. You can literally. Around. You can literally like pick up key serpents. Key. Right. Kids, I'm talking about children, eight to twelve years old. Listen to me. You can literally fly, jump off your balloons, and fly into the night. Like literally, <laughs> yeah, that whole thing. Yeah. Announcement: I have realized and learned the definition of the word literally. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, that guy who started the whole thing uh, died during a service in, I think it was Alabama, um, while he was handling snakes. Shocker. Um, but that, that's where, like, that whole ideology comes from and everything. Yeah. I've I didn't never know it was that recent. I knew that people yes, yeah, could it, still do it. You know, it I thought, it, I thought it, that uh, it had been around for uh, forever. I mean, I knew that people still do it, but I just thought it was old. So oh. it, it has been done in, like, old societies and cults, but not in the evangelical Southern Baptist right. way until, like, post-World War II. There's a lot of stuff about the evangelical movement that happened in the South post-World War II, things like that. Um, the older ideas of like colonial America, the idea of the uh, penitent sinner who needs to like earn their holiness to stand before God, that started to make a big comeback around the same time. And a lot of stuff like that still exists in the South to some degree. Uh, but yeah, snake handling wasn't a thing in Christian churches until after World the War 50s. II. Interesting. Yeah, the 50s. I had no idea. I figured that was an old practice. Very interesting. Yeah, well, I mean, there's always been like cults and societies that have like carried snakes and stuff, but just and not in that um, attitude. At least, at least not to any degree that it was like a known practice. Uh, I right. believe the one nearby that does it is a Pentecostal church. Um, I know Pentecost. I know there's holiness churches that do it. Um, things. I don't think any Baptists. It's more so like the uh, spiritual or uh, with experience based uh, belief systems. Um, right. They're the ones who are primarily a thing with that. Um, I can I get um, into a, a snake religion. What's the survival rate for their like <laughs> high admit, ranking? Cal had a one eighty. He's immediately like, yeah, actually, he's cool. like, yeah, I'm down. I, I don't uh, want to like handle the snakes. I, I think maybe like some snake worship though. Oh, maybe. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, that makes more sense. Yeah, gotcha. What, what were you saying? Josh? I mean, like handling snakes in church, like it's kind of like daring God, isn't it? Well, that's what that's what I was telling them about while mm. you were gone. Uh, it's from whenever Jesus told the disciples that you can pick up snakes and not be bit. Uh, they're just like, oh, okay, he said so. They took it Let's literally. They took I it mean, literally, just yeah. latching on to that of all things. There is. Uh, it's actually kind of interesting if you look at a lot of a more like. I don't want to say orthodox. Uh, it's more so like the American 
uh, traditional religious movements, a lot of the branching off that happened with those literally came from like one or two verses in the Bible where mm -hmm. they're like, oh, th this is our thing now. Let's hyper focus on this part. Right. And then they kind of focused with that uh, as they went through the years and that kind of developed and became its own thing, like with the snake handling churches. Yeah. Uh, to finish answering your question now that you're back, um, I was Baptist. I've always been in different mm -hmm. Baptist churches my entire life. Um, every one of them's what there's different kinds of Baptists. There's Southern Baptist, primitive Baptist. All the ones I've been in are considered a uh, independent Baptist, which just means they're not part of a larger affiliation mm -hmm. and the belief system's just the Bible, no interpretations outside of it. Uh, and I'm actually now a Sunday school teacher in a church. So I've okay. still continued with so that. That's why I said his testimony nice. will be very strong when he testifies against me. He said, cause he's a Sunday school. Teacher. Yes. I said, I said as a Sunday school teacher, this man was a horrible influence. <laughs> I didn't want to make the African man voice. He forced me to. <laughs> <laughs> I would never. I mean, my I, I, Sunday school. I mean, I did dislike it as a kid because it was like all taking away from time that I could be playing in the woods. Cause that's all that I did with my friends in the neighborhood when I was a kid is like, what are we going to do today? Let's all go in the woods and and make weapons and fight and, and build a fort and then like do war. And that's all we did. Good but uh, I did like Veggie Tales. That was that was, that was the most the redeemable part of of Sunday school was Veggie Tales. You're his cheeseburger. Now I, I will your clarify. I'm not. You didn't. Uh, I did hate. You don't know what Veggie Tales <laughs> is, Kyle? We did hand bells. That's when each of the kids has a different bell. They're color coded for the key, and then she points at a chart to to the, and and we ring the bells like like a choir of bells. What the fuck Aww. does that have to do with Jesus? We did, you know, gospel songs. Oh, okay. Well, that sounds a awful. Lot of the, my veggie, ding, ding, ding. veggie Tales was I, a I cartoon show. I think it was my show. mom's idea. It was awful. Yeah, it Veggie was Tales was a uh, was a cartoon show with Larry the Cucumber and fucking Bob Timmy the, the tomato. tomato or something. I don't remember Bob. the tomato. Bob the Tomato, Bob and the tomato. they would like just be hanging out on like kitchen counters, and they'd be like, "Oh, Stevie the Squash." is is getting sliced up and look how much pie he made and they'd be like larry that reminds me of when jesus made meals for ten thousand people with just two loaves and two fishes and then and it like does a song. family guy style like flashback and all the characters are vegetables and so it's like jesus is an asparagus and his disciples are like squash and and you know, now that I, bro, the more bro, I describe bro, it, the more I realize it wasn't good. <laughs> no, it was, it was perfect. Don't you say it? You say it like this. Can, can I ask you? Know, you know, so, it, so, actually, right. it only I'll, seemed good because I was in church and I needed something. No, so, so, Taylor, all the characters are, are vegetables. I'm getting that. Yeah, yeah. And he's doing the Sermon on the Mount. Is it bread and fish that he's serving to vegetables? Yes. I think they, so I the think vegetables are over. carnivores. The vegetables are eating the bread and the fish. There they are. Hey. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. You got, I in, that, in the middle, uh, you got Larry the, the cucumber, Bob that? the tomato. That's Goliath. The Why is Larry so glass. fucking big? No, no, that's not. Larry no, no, is that's, the smaller that's cucumber. Larry's Larry's oh, guy, that's, who's that big Bluto retarded that, that's, guy? That's, that's, that's Goliath. 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 From David he's and Goliath. He's a boxer? Yeah. In this the misinterpretation. It was to show how What are the gloves attached to? Scalp them. Man, this was a terrible like show. Why do none of them have Shh, arms? Stop it, Taylor. <laughs> You're going too far. <laughs> they, they, don't, my they, they don't have arms. Is the they tomato really supposed them. to be there? Gaze not into the abyss. The tomato is the fucking... abyss. Gaze also into you. <laughs> it's supposed to be educational, and there's a fucking fruit there. I'm I, I'm not buying into it. <laughs> no, they're vegetables. Veggie okay. tail. He left. He's Look, you made him leave. You made him leave. Look at that. I guess the tomato is technically a fruit, but we all know what it fucking is for real. No one eats tomatoes like hand fruit. Nah. It you should know, be for the most part. other than by like technical definition, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess I'm realizing. I like, didn't know it was you, 3D you... animated like that. I didn't know it was like cutting mm -hmm. edge technology for the time. Oh, yeah. Well, 1997, cartoon, that was the bee's knees. It was man. the shit. That's crazy, bro. They were banging that out on like fucking super powered computer. 